Law enforcement arrested 30 year old Jacoby DeLeon O'Shea Ferguson off East Slaughter Lane in Austin yesterday. Today he is facing one count of arson causing bodily injury or death. <laughs> On the morning the fire started at the iconic village apartment complex in 2018. 5 a.m. phone calls are terrible. No parent. Ever wants to receive one. An early morning phone call was just the beginning of the nightmare for Brian Frizzell. His daughter Haley died in that fire. Driving around Hayes County. Travis County, Comal County, going to every emergency room, going to every hospital, begging for Jane Doe to be your daughter. Five years later, law enforcement credits a fresh set of eyes, the iconic village task force, for leading finally to an arrest. This influx of fresh enthusiasm mixed with previous case knowledge ended up being the needed catalyst. Ferguson lived in Iconic Village at the time. Was he interviewed at the time? Was his name anywhere in the records? He was interviewed uh, at the time, yes, along with a host of other people as well. Investigators wouldn't say exactly what made them circle back around to Ferguson. It definitely feels uh, like justice, and it will once he gets charged for sure with everything and goes to the court system. Will Wells was a friend to David Ortiz, who also died that morning. To get this answer, it's almost disbelief. We're still like, is this the right guy? You know? But even though it took five years, San Marcos law enforcement and the ATF say they never gave up. This fire has impacted and forever changed the course of many lives. The district attorney tells me that more charges could be coming once this case is presented to a grand jury, which will happen in the next 90 days. Reporting in San Marcos, Adela Uchida, CBS Austin News.